Hello, hello. Так. Так. Hello, hello, my dear friends. Very happy to see you. And today we will speak and we will work with topic about how to love yourself. I hope you can see me good. And we will start uh, to work with this topic. How to love yourself. I'm Natalia Kubilkina, family therapist, clinical psychologist, uh, motivation speaker. Many years I work with people and for me to love yourself, it has several secrets. Uh, today we speak about general things. After in our marathons, we will work with techniques and with details. Uh, and my first question from zero to 10, at the moment, how you feel? How much I love myself? From zero to 10, how much I feel I love myself? Zero, I don't love myself at all, but at all I don't have connection with myself. Uh, 10, I am totally love myself. I am crazy about myself. From zero to 10, how much I love myself? Zero, I love myself a lot. Uh, one, two, I don't love myself at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, hello. Five, three, six, eight. Mm -hmm. uh, very seldom in my practice I meet somebody who say 10. Usually it's around this. And my next question is uh, how you will know that you will have 10? What is missing to be 10? What is missing to be 10? What is missing to be 10? How can be more? What is missing to be 10? How you understand uh, today I have six, but if I will have more time for myself, if I have better job, if I have more money, if I uh, have different type of work, if uh, I have good relationship with my parents, with my partners, how I will know that I have better? How I will know that I have 10? Mm -hmm. What must to happen? I to feel that I have 10. Okay. Super. Boundaries, to have boundaries, with whom you would like to have boundaries, with whom you would like to have boundaries. Okay. Happy family, job, lost weight. Yes, uh, during the, our marathon, which will start next week, uh, we will work exactly with all those things. And uh, first for me, it's uh, to have connection with yourself. And for me to love yourself, it's a verb. It's not known, it's a verb. When I make some actions every day to love myself. Uh, for uh, me, for example, if you ask me love for yourself, it's to be happy in my life. And it's my choice. My choice to suffer or my choice to feel good. My choice what I'm doing in my life to have work and job which I enjoy to do, to have a body which I like to do, to have relationship which make me happy, uh, to know how to say yes and how to say no, to make a skills see, uh, from the uh, since when you wake up until end of the day when you make yourself happy every day. And for me, if you, I can tell only with one word what means uh, to love yourself, it's mean to take responsibility for your happiness to take responsibility from your happiness. And now I offer you to make one practice all together. It's a practice about how to love your inner child and exactly about the responsibility for your life. Uh, before this, I would like to explain a little bit theoretical part, which is very important. First, if we take our personality, our personality has three parts. Parts number one, it's our inner child. All of us, we have this part when we've been children. We have our mother, father uh, who been with us. And uh, when we are children, we have our wishes. You say, I would like to do this. I would like to eat. I would like to play. I would like to have games. I would like to have communication. You have, I would like your wishes. Very often your parents uh, cannot to cover your wishes or even they not exist. Or I worked today, had several sessions and let's say my father was beat me a lot and even he broke my leg. Uh, he doesn't care about my needs and if I ask something, he always tell me no. And one moment I stopped to ask because it's not deserved. Or uh, one other lady told me today, you know, my father never exists. When he said, I am uh, my mother pregnancy with me, he disappeared. 
he said, I cannot take care about you. Sorry, it's, uh, I cannot. And from this, we already start to make our first conclusion. Uh, the people doesn't want me. I don't exist. I cannot take my space. I, I'm not important for my parents. Who I am, I'm nothing. And then it's very difficult for us to take our space. And I would like to make now one constellation about this. For this, you will need one uh, small pillow. One pillow. If you don't have pillow, you can take also one paper. Pillow or paper. Mm -hmm. uh, I will put a little bit of music. You can close your eyes at the moment. Close your eyes. Listen to me. And listen to my voice. And take a breeze. And if you come back to your childhood in your place when you grew up, always look your place, always around you. How you always help people to be around you. And in your reality, how your mother and father give you love. How your mother and father give you love. How they will take care about you. How they will help you. How you show love from your parents. How you take a love from your parents. How they will support you, how they will love you. And can you imagine the now opposite of you? You see this small child and you can put one pillow opposite of you, like it's you when you was five, six years old. And see why it was so painful in your family when you was a child. And can you tell it, it's too painful for me. It's too painful to see how mother fight with father. It's too painful when they beat me. It's too painful when they criticize me. It's too painful to listen their fights. Take a breath and go inside your pain. The first secret is when we allow yourself to feel your pain, to connect with your pain. It's so painful. And what was so painful for you? I was so suffer. I so wanted they to stop. And you, when you felt this painful, which decision you will take for yourself? When you felt this painful, which decision you will take from yourself? What you decide from yourself? And what you decide from yourself. What decision you will take about this? I will strong. I will never um, have dependent of men. I want to punish men. I will have education. I cannot trust people. I cannot trust anybody. I don't deserve love. I am not so special. The decision you will take when you see pain in your family. And can now you feel the small girl opposite of you? Or small boy if, it's, if you're a man? And to tell the small child, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You was just a child. You couldn't choose different things. You was just a child. And you deserve to have love in your life. And all okay with you. You are good enough. All okay with you. You are good enough. And feel how for you, 
Mm-hmm. All the cave is you. You are good enough. Mm-hmm. And feel how it for you. All the cave is you. You are good enough. Mm-hmm. Take a breath. And tell again it's not your fault. And you can open your eyes. Mm -hmm. And you can open your eyes and to come back here. Mm -hmm. Take a breeze. Mm-hmm. And how for you to have this feeling that you are good enough? Because it's really the first uh, sta- stable things which will start our marathons about how to love yourself. You're good enough. And it's not your fault. Because very often it takes this guiltness on our shoulders and all our life we feel guilty. And after our partners explain we that we are bad, our children, our bosses, our clients, all they try explain it to not good enough or it's your fault. And you need to learn and the first rules how to love yourself is to say I'm good enough and it's not my fault. All okay with me. And uh, when we speak about um, healthy relationship, it means that I'm plus and you're plus. It's also, you have some reason to be like this. And uh, when one of my clients, she shared me that, you know, my father was beat me a lot. And I asked her, tell me please a little bit more about childhood of your father. She said he was always very hungry because in his family uh, he grew up in a very poor family it was three children and mother gave him one bread for a week and he need to survive with this one bread for a week and uh, he will he leave his house when he was 12 he go other place other city he find a job he works three four jobs to survive and finally he make family and he always very wanted i to eat and i never eat and he was very upset and of course, because for him, food, it means all. And when we start to blame our parents, we always need to ask yourself, how was their childhood? Why they're like this? What's they in their story? Because nobody never bet with us if not have their way of suffering. People suffer, and from their suffering, uh, they also uh, start to be bad with us, but not so bad have been with them. For example, her father of one of my clients, uh, he was beat her, but always she has food, he has clothes. Their parents, her grandparents, they would beat him and not give food, not give clothes, and uh, he live on the floor, on the land. And already he is better. Always your parents, they give you more than they receive. And always we will give more than we receive from our parents to our children. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are good enough. We are good enough and we are fully with our love and we allow yourself to love your parents. And it's the first and very important. I'm good enough. I, I can support myself. And first time inside us, which we work in during this marathon, how to love yourself, it's you working with our inner child. The next session, we will start from our health issue. And I will give you a lot of health issue when you have problem, why we have it, and what happened with our body. Uh, because if you take our body, uh, all its emotions, and when you have trauma um, and uh, problems, uh, very often it's um, our emotions start to influence of our hormones our hormones we start to have very strong level of cortisol hormone of stress uh, if cortisol very high high level it start our blood to be um, 
not so good immunic strong and very easier we take some sicknesses we start to destroy yourself we have even autoimmune uh, autoimmunic uh, sicknesses and diseases what is a cancer usually cancer is connected when i don't um when i feel offended to my mother to my father to my partners and from when i feel off offended i start to eat myself when i hate my mother and father and uh, even if uh, they make operation people very often it doesn't help because if you continue to hate your parents you will continue to suffer and in this case it's very very important to start to love yourself and to say i love my mother and i love my father and uh, how to love yourself in the first position it's what i feel about my mother and what i feel about my father mm -hmm. All sicknesses we will make during a marathon uh, together with you. The next session will come here. Because there are many diseases which we need to discuss. It's not topic today. Uh, when you start to have healthy body, we start to, uh, to make relationship with yourself, how I connect with myself, how I can connect with my money. And uh, when you cannot take your space, for example, in your family, your parents doesn't want you. Maybe they was too young. Maybe they have uh, other children. Maybe they don't have enough money. From some reasons, your parents doesn't want you. Or they want a girl, your boy, or opposite. And what to do in this case? In this case, we need to understand. Then um, uh, I want my space. I want to take all what is in mine and uh, to be happy with my space. And can you now, again, to close your eyes, again, to close your eyes, and to imagine yourself how you was in the belly of your mother. Take a breath, take a breath. How you was in the belly of your mother. How you felt inside. How for you to be in the belly of your mother. And can you feel it? You can take all your space. That you can cover your space. You can take all your space. Like you cover your space, you can breathe, you can take all space inside of belly of your mother. And can you tell it, I want my space. I deserve my space in my life. I can take my space. You feel how you take space in your life, in your relationship, in your work, how you exist. How you exist. How you're here. I'm here, I exist. I want my space. I deserve my space. It's my space. And to feel it how you take all your space. And how mother and father love you. And can you imagine how they tell to you, we want exactly you to be our child, as you are. We want exactly you to be our child, as you are with your sex, with your character, with how you look. We're looking exactly from child like you. We don't want you to be something different from what you are. And feel how for you if your parents totally accept you, how you are. If you are a girl, that you are a girl, if you are a boy, that you are a boy. That you have your talent, that your character, and they await you. And how both families and mother and father, they await you a lot. They very want you to come in their life. And they tell you, we await you a lot. You're so important for us. And take a breath. How do you feel about this? How for you? to give yourself space. 
and to know that exactly like you are, they accept you, they wait you, who you are, how you are. Mm -hmm. And then you can live with this. I feel so relieved. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's helped a lot when you would like uh, to give yourself mm -hmm. and when you give yourself space, mm -hmm. give yourself space about this. Mm -hmm. Such important point, graduate, graduate, thank you, liberating. Mm -hmm. and uh, feel how you do it in your life how you give yourself in life to take a space if you continue now to work with this welcome all from my martins how to love yourself one week we will work together with you about money about health about relationship about connection with uh, god and connection with parents we have very deep work one week this promotion 29 dollars from 99 welcome to take it with us Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, it's very important to give yourself the space to receive, to receive, to know that you exist. And if you give yourself space in your life to take your space, what you would like to change in your relationship? If I give space myself in my relationship, uh, maybe you have, maybe in your last relationship, what you would like to change? And to write me, please. If I give myself space, I will change. I will speak more about my feelings. I will delegate some things what I'm doing at the moment. I will share about my needs. What I will change. What I will change in my relationship if I give space. Okay. What will change in my relationship? What are you improve? Mm -hmm. To open to receive my confidence. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yes, about my wants or any needs, expect better treatment. Uh, to love yourself, it's very interesting topic because you will feel how like you take more space and you ask something and you see partner you say okay and you say so easy and he say but you never ask me very often when inside you you give yourself permission even it can work for example you can go to your boss and say i would like to have more money when inside you you are ready for this your boss will tell you okay and you'll be very surprised so easy you give me more money he was asking i give you we receive how much we ask. In the same profession, uh, for example, has one friend, she's massagist and she take a lot of money. Her session cost around 150 euro per massage. I, I know a lady who take 15 euro. To be honest, the massage, both of them good, but one said that she, she uh, cost 15, other said that she cost 150. They live in the same city. But they have different things how much I cost. One lady asked uh, to her to buy a new car, as already even afraid to ask one coffee. They live in the same city, they have the same age, and both of them are beautiful. And if you are afraid to ask, you will never receive. If you ask, maybe some of them will tell you no. But it's also great because if you say no, if you listen no, maybe it's not your partner. Maybe you need to know now that it's no, not to lose your time. Because very often we lost our time uh, from things which not deserve. And uh, better to ask now, do you want to marry me? No. Okay, then continue your life and find men who will say you yes, yes. Or maybe you want to receive more money and you ask more money and your boss say you no. Great, then go to find other job when you will receive yes. But allow yourself its actions and it's all time to uh, make a brave actions to receive more and to give more. And all of us, we receive how much we said we cost. 
if you decide you want to do all alone and after say i do it alone i was single mother i suffer so much who do it you choose it you choose to be like this and when you say me no i no choose don't have choice you are a liar because to love yourself is to take responsibility for yourself i feel i not feel that i need to help men they accuse them mm -hmm. Irina, it's very important you to give space men to help you and men to take care about you. Yes, and uh, if you give, a, and again, I have one very beautiful client. She's an amazing girl, very, very smart, very nice girl. And all her life, she's like a mother for men. She gives them money, she pays the bills, she takes care about their clothes, about food, about all, about all. And in the end, men say, sorry, uh, I feel like a baby, you're like a mother, I suffer with you, I want divorce or I want to separate. And she say, what the fuck? I do all and again, it's not okay. And I say, of course, because you uh, decide to be like uh, his mom. And when he's like his mom, of course, he doesn't want to be with you because he wants to be a man one moment. And she say, okay, I will start to try to be uh, weak and to be vulnerable. And for example, I will ask him to wash my car or I will ask him to help me with something. But she make it like a game. Inside her, she's very good, knows that she can do it alone. And for her, it's more easier and faster to do it alone. But she play weak women because she believes it's uh, better to be like this. And then what will happen? Men will came and he will play that he is a strong man because she plays this game and she starts the first and he go to wash her car, he go to buy her one dress. But after she will feel tired to play all the time because when you play, you feel tired to play. And one moment she will tell to him, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go there. And he will say, well, what happened? You was so nice, so kind. And one moment he will tell you, no, I don't have money, you know, I have these problems. And she say, you say, oh, you lie me. You show me that you're a very strong man, but in the end you're weak. He say, yes, but you show me that you're a very weak woman and finally you're strong. And when we try to play the game and to be somebody who is we not we are, uh, we always will find the same partners. When you try to play weak women, but you're strong, and uh, men then you try to play strong men, but he is weak, it's a result it's a result and to love yourself is to be honest with yourself and if you are strong say i'm fucking strong what to do with this and uh, uh it's uh, my truth and i need to find a man who can live with my strong quality and to know that it's me and i cannot to be weak and i can play weak but it's your game it's not just my truth and uh, to find where exactly why you decide to be so strong because very often uh, when you speak about smart need to love yourself it means that i really from my heart allow myself to be vulnerable not because i'm needy not because i want to play the victim role and to be uh like a victim in this situation it's because i am really love myself and i am really feel very good who i am and uh, i'm strong but in some quality i need support i need help maybe you're a strong woman but you need uh, somebody who will kiss you who make massage to you who will find energy for you who will understand you better who will listen to you who will follow you in your trips for what you need men and uh, or women if you're men and also to love yourself it's to recognize your really inner needs because uh, so often I listen from strong women, I want strong men. I say, for what? For, for what reason? You are successful, you are working, do your stuff. Uh, what he can do you in this stuff? You need somebody who is very nice with you, uh, to hug you, to love you, to make sex with you, to make your children. In this case, yes. Ah, maybe for this reason I cannot find a man, a no man which I attract as a weak man. Yeah. Of course, it can be protection mechanisms. So sometimes you are too strong. Uh, it's like overprotection. And you do need to do all those things. And first, you need to be more soft inside you and not so high with yourself. I feel like I had been too strong. Yes. 
And sometimes we need to see where is really me, or where is my overprotection, where is my fears uh, to be weak because maybe my mother will suffer or somebody around me will suffer and I decide to be strong. In Martin, how to love yourself, exactly we will work with this. Welcome all, it will start very soon. Uh, $29 is at the moment the price from our marathons, how to love yourself. Yes, attract successful men, but uh, who are emotional dead. Yeah, very often successful men, they're emotional dead. And so to listen, accept balance to me. Mm -hmm. I attract always emotional invaluable men. Emotional invaluable men, they attract if you have emotional invaluable mother or father usually. And for us, it's very normal to be somebody who cannot understand us, to listen us. Also very often we don't know how to show our emotions. And very often we attack or we attack and we push or uh, uh, we play the victim and just say, why are you do it with me? Wow. And we uh, don't speak. And we expect that my partner must to understand what I want to do. It. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And uh, one uh, exercise more. Can you please close your eyes? Can you please close your eyes? <sighs> Take a deep breath and inhale. Exhale. And ask yourself for what you need partner in your life. For what you need a partner in your life. What you would like to receive from your partner what you would like to feel from him. For what you need a partner in your life. Mm -hmm. What you would like to receive. Which part of you need relationship. And what you would like to give. What I give in my relationship. What I would like to receive, what I would like to give. Mm -hmm. And take a breeze. And can you imagine the opposite of you, you have your partner, maybe you have him at the moment, maybe you have it, uh, have it after your future relationship. And if you're totally vulnerable, and if you know that you're good enough, and it's not your fault if something doesn't work before, can you tell to him, for me it's so important, and what is your needs? You to listen to me. You to be nice with me, you to be gentle with me, you to be generosity with me, you to take help about me, you to be there when I need you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. If I have a partner, what is my needs? What is very important for me? what I would like to receive, what I would like to feel. Take a breath. Mm -hmm. Somebody can share what is your needs to your partner? And ask yourself if it's really truth. You tell it because it's really your needs or because you used to speak it like this? Mm -hmm. I have so many blockages and walls around me after my last unsuccessful relationship. This exercise very hard for me. And what was exactly so unsuccessful? What happened there? It was very close to tears to see me. Hugs and support. Financial most and sense of humor, moral support. And can you believe that you can receive it all? But it exists. It exists. And first you can give it to yourself. And I told in the beginning that we have three parts inside us. Our inner child who has those needs. 
our inner adult who can make our needs true mm -hmm. and our inner parents who take care also about us for it to feel good to have energy and when we expect something from our partners first we need to cover it from yourself and when it's pe people to disable people it's terrible so most of my clients told me I was disabled, I was fully with acceptation, I so wanted somebody to love me, my father never loved me, my mother never loved me, I so wanted my partner to love me. And they came to me so thirsty and said, please give me love, give me love. And I met the same partner, his mother, father doesn't love him, his ex doesn't love him, and he came to me and said, give me love. And we stay close to each other and I say, give me you, not you give me, not you give me. And in the beginning, when we fall to love, we both try to give. But one moment when we not give it to yourself, uh, we feel like, I today I make you breakfast, now you make to me a massage. Ah, you I, today I make a massage, now you must make me breakfast. And all the time we start to make like a bargain, uh, what I give you, what you receive me. And it's happened when we are poor. Because if you have a lot of money and you are rich, you don't care who to pay bill. Very often I pay the bill, I don't expect nothing from nobody. I like to pay bills from people when I go with my friends, with other people. When I have enough, I don't care. I know that I have again and again and again and I can pay bills. But when I was poor, I was a student and I had not had money at all. I remember how we go one holiday with my friends and we hire one big, big house all together. It was smaller uh, bed you we take it. And we after we need to go to pay. And I remember how in the spirit of time I know I need to pay, for example, 50 euro and they say 55. And I say, what is the difference five euro? Why I need to pay five, five, five euro more? And say, because we have some taxes, some, some service. And I was very because I don't have this five euro. I, I didn't have, I have 50. That's all. And then it was my big problem, a big issue from five euro. And when you are not have enough money for you, five euro can be a big issue. In love, the same. If you're poor, if you're empty inside you, and when your partner accepts love from you, you say, Oh, why well, I need to give you? Yesterday I gave you already. Stop, I cannot. Because inside you, you are not have enough. And when exactly inside you, you have enough, for me, it doesn't matter now how many services, how many apps they put it, uh, there, I always can give without problems. But you need to be inside you fully with the love. A love to yourself. And only in this case, we can st start to make a relationship without to make bargain. How do I know if I am empty with love? Uh, if you feel empty, it means that your adult part, hello, hello, guys, uh, don't take care about your love to yourself. And in this case, work with yourself during this marathon, how to make myself fully with love. All what you're doing this week, how to love yourself, we will $29 surprise at the moment. We will to fulfill yourself to be fully with energy of love. We will work through bodies, through the money and success, uh, through the relationships, through the parents, through connection with God has many uh, different ways to make yourself fully with love. I am eldest in my family. After my sibling was born, my parents stopped hiding me in such because I was expected to be strong sibling and role model. Hugging was very good as weak. This is not closeness. Very happen, it's happened like this. Very often uh, parents think that if I weak, it's like this, especially with boys, uh, not to hug, not to too much. You must be a strong person, but it's problematic. And all of us, we need hugs. We need. When we hug each other, we have oxytocin, we have endorphin, we have hormones of happiness. And for us, it's very, very important. Not just sex, hugs. Hugs to feel. We need to share. We need it. We need to sit. And even we just drink a tea and to speak, to speak, to speak, to share, to listen, to share, to, to listen, because we are people. And it's necessary for us. You cannot be alone. What happened now in the world, uh, like governments try to separate people and everybody to stay in their home, it's very problematic. As a psychologist, I can see how much work I have at the moment. 
and how it increased and with bad feelings I expect the next lockdown and I know that it will totally to break a lot of people because we don't born to be alone. We are social animals and for us very important to be together. I've been several days ago in Wilbledon and it was several thousand people inside and it was so amazing energy and see oh oh upload you know all together this five thousand and all the people who see through the cameras and this thing that we are together it's so important and i'm very very thankful to you that you came from our channels you listen to us you follow us because we are together in this what happens if your wife has uh, no no uh, cuddles for you what mean cuddles my partner's loving me, but wants me to stay with uh, his parents. I'm staying in joint family and his parents not so good with me. You're not obliged to do it. You can say that you don't want. If you love yourself, you always can say no. It's your right to say no, I don't agree. And to ask yourself if it's okay for you, if it's work for you. If you feel unhappy from this, say no. I cannot do it. I don't want to do it. I don't feel okay with this. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Mila. Thank you, guys. And you can say stop. You give yourself permission. In this life, for all what you have and what you don't have, it's about permission. And my uh, big advice, first to tell it. Even you go to miracle, but now when we will finish, write five wishes, go to miracle and to say in the miracle, hello. I give yourself permission to have success, to have a beautiful relationship with your partner, to be a mother, to enjoy your life. I give yourself uh, permission for this. You are good enough. You deserve it. You're very important for me. I will fight for your happiness. I will do all possible for you to be happy. I'm adult. I grow up and I can give myself all what my parents never give me and never will give me. Because they cannot. Maybe they not have resource. Maybe they grew up very poor family. Maybe they grew up without love. Maybe they have some problems. If your parents, thank you, thank you, David. If your parents cannot give you something, okay. And you tell it's enough. You gave me enough. You give me my life, my body. It's totally enough. And all what I need from their place, I can do it alone because I am adult. I don't have it from my partner, from my teachers, from my clients, from my children. I am good enough. And slowly, slowly, we will grow up together in our mind on how to love yourself with this thing. And the next time we will work about our body, I will make very good practice how to be healthy, how to enjoy your body, how to have energy in your body. Because it, for me, it's important when you grow up to have energy, to grow up, to create, to feel things, to like your body, to like how you look and to enjoy your physical body, to feel I can do so many things, I can make sport, I can feel that I can take uh, good clothes and to enjoy my life. So first we will work about uh, our body, first session, session uh, second feel about money, why I don't have money, which I would like, how to attract money, how to have more money. So about money. Third, it's really about relationship with my parents and with my family. And we'll make some uh, art therapy also during the seminar. Fourth week, it's will really about relationship with partners, how to create beautiful relationship fully with love and with heart with your partners. I will give you some movie about this. And fifth, it's really about my connection with the God, with energy, with God, with universe because I belong to universe. And all we are, we are as our angels and our support, we are never alone. Welcome here, how to love yourself, $29 now, price from, uh, one, uh, from $99. I make this price for most people can to pass by the seminar and to increase their life and to be more happy. Because when you are more happy, I am more happy too. <laughs> Await you with big pleasure. I'm Natalia Kubilkina, family therapist, clinical psychologist, uh, therapist with 20 years experience, writer of 10 books, producer, actress, uh, coach, 
I have two diplomas about this, and I will very, very happy to you increase and to improve your life. Thank you that you follow me. Love you a lot. Have a good day. Thank you a lot. Bye bye, guys. Let's meet again and happy to be together. All information you have in our website, kubirkina.com. And welcome to see you. I will send you the link how you can to improve your life. Welcome. Bye bye.